Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're gonna check it out how to make this cartoon animation in After Effects. Step one, click on the text, type in whatever you want. I gotta go with the humane font, press the letter S, scale it up, align it to the center, and we're gonna go to the animate rotation. Great, and from here we're gonna go to the add property and enable per character 3D. And this way we can animate all the letters one by one. Now make sure that you have Cinema 4D activated as you can see here in the corner. You got Cinema 4D, you click on it and instead of classic 3D, you select Cinema 4D and click OK. We're also gonna add some extrusion, go to geometric options and we got extrusion depth. I'm gonna increase it, make it thicker. I'm gonna go with three. And now we're gonna color it, go to add property. And here you can color the front or the back side. We're gonna go with the front color RGB and we're gonna go again, add property back color RGB. And you can switch up the colors however you like. I'm gonna go and make this lighter. Click OK. I'm going to change the back color to blue. Click OK. And we're also going to add property bevel. So basically this is going to be the stroke. Click color RGB. I'm going to change this as black. And we're going to go to the bevel depth. As you can see here, we got none. We're going to change it to convex or you can choose however you like. And we're going to decrease the bevel depth. I'm going to go with 0 0.1. I'm going to go back to the X rotate, put it to zero. I'm going to activate the stopwatch. I'm going to go to the 0 15 and I'm going to type in 180 degrees. I'm going to go to 115. Select this keyframe, press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. So it's going to copy paste another keyframe here. Go to the second second and we're going to type in 360 degrees. So it's going to flip back. I'm also going to bring the work area to 215 and it's going to flip something like this. It's kind of random. So we're going to need to add more animation to it. I'm going to go to 015. So here we're at 180. I'm going to pull it here a little bit. And I'm going to pull it back from 180 to 175. I'm going to select the previous keyframe here, press Ctrl C, and I'm going to go a little bit further somewhere here, press Ctrl V. So it's going to copy paste it back. I'm going to do the same thing with the 360 here. I'm going to go a little bit here, pull it back, 355. I'm going to select the previous keyframe here, press Ctrl C, bring it further right here, press Ctrl V, and there you go. You also can select the Easy Ease, select all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assist, select Easy Ease. It's gonna make it smoother, and it looks something like this. Thanks for watching.